Assalamu alaikum. People complain about jinn affecting them. People complain about magic affecting them. People complain about someone doing something against them. I've spoken in the past about how we should not be thinking in these superstitious lines, but, but, mostly you are to blame. You who are complaining hold a portion of the blame. Why? Have you read what is known as your Mu'awidat? Do you bother reading the verses of the Quran that have within them the protection of Allah because that's the word of Allah? Have you read every morning and every evening what is known as Ayatul Kursi? Do you know what it is? Do you know what are the adhkar of the morning and the evening? The remembrance of Allah and the words of praise of Allah and the seeking of protection in Allah from shaitan and from that which is harmful? Have you read that after every prayer? Do you pray? Do you dress appropriately? Do you have a relationship with Allah, the protector? You don't have a relationship with the owner of protection and you want protection. Subhanallah, no relationship. When last did you pick up the Quran? When last did you obey the instruction of Allah? Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anyway, let's get to the Mu'awidat. You read Ayatul Kursi thrice, every morning, every evening. You read the last three surahs of the Quran. If not, at least the last two surahs of the Quran called the Mu'awidat. Those surahs within which we're seeking the protection of Allah from shaitan, from mankind, from the evil of mankind and jinn kind. We're seeking uh, from the whispers of the devil and so on. When last have you read the few prayers? Rabbi a'udhu bika min hamazati shayateen wa a'udhu bika rabbi an yahdurun. O my Lord, I seek your protection from the whispers of the devil and I seek your protection from the devil even coming into my presence. When last have you repeated that prayer? A'udhu bi kalimati Allahi tamati min sharri ma khalaq. I seek the protection in all the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil that he has created, the harm of that evil. Bismillahi alladhi la yadurru ma'asmihi shay'un fil ardi wa la fis samai wa huwa as-sami'u al-alim. In the name of Allah, with whose name nothing can harm on earth nor in the skies and he is indeed all hearing, all knowing. When last have you said these? You're supposed to be saying them morning and evening. And even after every prayer, it's recommended to read Ayatul Kursi. Subhanallah. We don't do this and then we complain. Oh, I was affected. I'm seeing things. I'm hearing things. I am here. I'm there. Subhanallah. At times it might just be a bit of stress and anxiety and so on. But in order to protect yourself from shaitan, from the unseen that we believe exists, and from jinn kind and so on, and from people tampering with you through superstitious items. Remember to read your mu'awidat, read your adhkar, morning and evening, absolutely important. If you haven't, you are foolish, subhanallah. And some people say, well, you know, I was on my monthly cycle, so I couldn't read the women. Subhanallah, no excuse. All schools of thought permit the recital of these mu'awidat, even during your menstrual cycle, subhanallah. So remember, my brothers, my sisters, not a day should ever go by without you having read those mu'awidat morning and evening. Seek the protection of Allah. Oh Allah, protect me. Do you know there is a hadith which says, مَن نَزَلَ مَن زِلًا فَقَالْ أَعُوذُ بِكَلِمَاتِ اللَّهِ التَّامَّاتِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ لَمْ يَضُرُّهُ شَيْءٍ حَتَّى يَرْتَحِلَ مِنْ مَنْزِلِهِ ذَلِكِ the Prophet ﷺ says, whoever is entering a home or a place and says the following supplication, أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق And I've translated that already. Nothing will harm that person until he leaves that home or that place. So as you're entering, read the dua. You're entering someone's home. You don't know them. Read the dua. You're entering your whatever, any place, anywhere. You're out maybe driving. You're stopped somewhere at a rest uh, room or wherever it may be. Subhanallah. Another thing, when you're entering and exiting the bathroom in order to relieve yourself, do you know that there is a dua to be read? There is protection that you need to seek. أعوذ بالله من الخبث والخبائث. You know, you're seeking protection in Allah from certain shayateen and jinn kind. Subhanallah. So we don't do that and then we complain. But Allah says, I taught you in advance how to save yourself. How to protect yourself.
Brothers and sisters, put on the armor. Put on that armor. Nothing will harm you. Everything that comes in your direction will deflect. Go away. Nothing will touch you. That is the strength that Allah has asked us to actually strengthen ourselves with. And he's given us that as a gift. May Allah protect all of us from shayateen and grant cure to those who are struggling with something of this nature. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen those who are already affected. And sometimes if we are affected, be strong, continue in your supplication. And slowly but surely, these forces will become weaker and weaker and they will depart. They will leave. At times it takes a bit of a while, but be determined. Have that conviction, fight it. And Allah will grant you the strength. Aqulu qawli hadha. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.